Opinions expressed are that of the Sunday Fundy Podcast. John Bocanegra, Amber Edwards, Curtis Spivey, Dom Lawrence, or any guest, guest host, or bystander at the time of recording. Any opinions stated do not reflect that of any entity or outside association to the personalities in or associated with the Sunday Funday Podcast. Now take a load off. Oh yeah. It's in studio now. This is live. Well, it's not live, but it's live to tape, whatever. What's happening, everyone? Welcome to the Sunday Funday Podcast, along with Curtis Spivey. Hey, everybody. Amber Edwards. Hey, hey, hey. I'm John Bocanegra. Thanks for listening to us. And if you just tuned in, we've had, uh, they're slowly but surely, they're adding up. It's just every now and then I check the Facebook page and it's yeah. like six people have liked it. And then it's like seven people have liked it. And then it stops. That's it. I get, I get a little notification, <laughs> at least two to three every day. We're approaching 200 and we very much want to thank everybody that's liking the page. And of course, listening to it is what we hope you're listening to it. And if okay. you just like the page, that doesn't really <laughs> help us out because you're not hearing us. We do really do appreciate it, though, and we want to thank you again from everybody here. Thanks. Thank you. You are the blood that pumps this beating heart. Curtis is back, by the way. Thank I you. know. The champ is back. <laughs> the champ is here. Sneaky giraffe, giraffe is in the building. How you been, man? Hiatus. I've been here. I've been there. I've been I've missed you, White everywhere. Chocolate. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. I'm just kidding. I missed you, too. <laughs> what are you up to, man? No, I just had some things happen and come up and most recently, you know, celebrating the holidays and uh, I got to see my brother flew up to Connecticut. It yeah. was kind of like an early Christmas for me. I got to spend some time with him and my niece and... Doing the uncle thing. Not yeah. being Uncle Kalachi. Yeah, doing the uncle <laughs> uncle thing for sure. I My niece thought I hung the moon in the sky. She still thinks <laughs> that, but there comes. there's a lot that comes with that territory. Uh, whenever you're the favorite uncle, you have uh-huh. to be ready for battle and energized like with each <laughs> rising of the sun and each setting of the sun. Is that what I have to look forward to? How old is she? She is six and a half oh, and geez. she is... I'm four years away from She that. is a pistol, man. She's sassy. She's smart. She's sweet, crafty, everything. and Conniving. Energetic. And I'm pretty sure there was like one point I like hid in the closet or I pretended to be asleep so i could just like at least just try to <laughs> gather some strength yeah eat a sensu bean it, yeah or be like superman and just go fly towards the sun and <laughs> recharge I'm yeah like. this kid i i'm pretty sure she had like a crack rock for a heartbeat <laughs> and i'm just like i'm struggling to keep up like at the end of the day i was just i was dead tired like i would just die on the couch how long were you there uh i was there for about five days oh, so dude. it was good it was good four or five days yeah and me being a fat fatty what what kind of foods up there in connecticut oh uh, well you <laughs> it's they got Take a bit pick. of everything we had mainly no like tex-mex it, though yeah <laughs> we mainly had like italian oh so i loaded up on my carbs did my carbicide and um ate a bunch of noodles drank a lot of beer drank a lot of wine there's a lot of breweries up there mm-hmm. and so they were showing me around and we got to I guess you want to call it taste testing. I call it getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so you swallowed, you didn't spit. Hey, no. <laughs> He's all but yes. A man never tells a secret like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a woman should either. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, you better lock that shit up. No That's chocolate. good, man. I'm glad you got to get out. <laughs> not, not that, not that part of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you got to get out. No, there. it was. I don't get to see them very often. Uh-huh. And so, I mean, if if people have been, if they remember a while back, this was the surprise trip that I was going to yeah. go on. It was to surprise my brother. Uh, so this was. I get to see them if I'm lucky once a year, because um, they live in Connecticut mm-hmm. and I live down here. So yeah, it was good. That was like an early Christmas, and then. Came back down here and spent the holidays down here and just, it was chill. You actually got to see snow up there, didn't you? Yeah, it's... <laughs> As opposed to our little half snow that we had. Flurries. It's, yeah. Little fart of snow that it, we had. <laughs> it snowed big time up there and then it rained on top of it, so like oh. melted everything. But I remember like one morning waking up and it sounded like somebody was skateboarding outside. And then you were like, what? I was like, what the f*** is going on? Who's skateboarding at six o'clock? And I opened up the door and it's just white like white blanket everywhere and it's the snow plow and you were like oh just like yeah taking care of everything and so i got to play with my niece in the snow for a little bit and we built like little tiny snowmen and little tiny snowman castle did you sing uh the songs from prison no no what does she like to do like what do kids that age like to do well um 
so my brother's girlfriend, she's a teacher, so she's been getting her involved in like, um, uh, like crafts, arts uh-huh. and crafts, uh, outside of school, like keeping her busy, keeping her mind, you know, her favorite websites, Pinterest. Yeah. There's like, she, like, she actually looked up like, okay, well, let's see what we could do today. And then she pulled up like this aquarium. Like, so what they, they have like several cardboard boxes uh-huh. and my niece has like the, you know, Dang. children's imaginations. They're like, they're so wild and uh-huh. crazy at that age. So she built an aquarium out of cardboard box and like put little fish and like, on stream the, oh, okay. and oh, everything. Okay. She did a gingerbread house out of cardboard. Wait, what do they call that? Where you make your little a diorama? Yeah. yeah, yeah diorama. Yeah. 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 Diorama. diorama. I'm just, <laughs> So she did that. I helped her out with some of those things, and um, she's into Legos, which I had no idea. I think every, Enrique's kids are huge into like he spent like a billion dollars now on Legos. I think. How many Legos <laughs> have you stepped on, Enrique? All of them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Collectively at the same time. Just, ah, ah, ah. I, did, I didn't do it this year. I didn't buy any Legos. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying he didn't buy any Legos <laughs> for Christmas. It's worth that, man. He got him bikes though. Yeah, he was in here just building them like a maniac, and then one night they were all in the garage, what? drunk, building one bike. And they all put it together. And Wait, you didn't get things. it already assembled? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. It was. I would have had to wait until mid January. Yeah, it was like oh, e- it was okay. easier. It was okay. easier for them okay. just to put the box. Oh yeah, that does suck. Yeah, Toys R Us. I don't think they'll put it together for you anymore. You just gotta well, buy it. I paid oh, enough nah. $15, yeah, I really just <laughs> I could just put do it, it together myself too. and spend three hours. It'll just it. fall apart as my son's writing it, but it'll be okay. I'll save She's that just $15 for the three uh, $5 boxes from Taco Bell or whatever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's running like a Flintstones bike, just his feet. <laughs> <laughs> you had Legos growing up? Yeah, dude, that was, that's what helped me be, uh-huh. so c- help keep my creativity like going, it was just Legos, even if it was like the... You know, do it by the instruction booklet. It was like I had Harry Potter at Star Wars at Underwater mm-hmm. Cities, Lego sets, everything. And then one Christmas, they stopped. And Aww. Yeah. And then you became a man. And then the dream was over. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, then I turned 27, and then that was it. <laughs> and then I turned 27. <laughs> so, yeah, last Christmas was rough. <laughs> 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 but, uh, no, yeah, it was, it's had a great time and glad to be back. Glad to be back with you guys. Yeah, I man. sound like happy, a little under, under the weather right now. I've been kind of sick Fighting this weekend. Oh, Not man. sick, but today I have like a headache. But. Was it the climate that, because um, somebody left, a friend of mine left recently and came back and then they're like, man, I got out of Lubbock and I was feeling great. And as soon as I got back, just blah. You just have to, I think you have to readjust to everything. Like, is the air thinner there? No, I mean, it's it's nice and crisp, I guess you want to call it. It's <laughs> it, was, like, it was almost too fresh. It was cold <laughs> up there for sure. I remember... There was one morning we drove around Connecticut going from town to town, and it was, like, super cold uh, that whole day. But nothing like here. Oh, man. Well, I went, on the way back when we did stop in Chicago, it was, like, negative five degrees. Hell but no. No. No, like, this past weekend here, or past few days here, it's... Nothing compared just, to up north? Uh, no, not yet. They've, it's kind of warm up there. Oh. It should be. I mean, it's it's cold, but it's a little bit warmer than For it should the, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're getting Thanks, like global we're world. getting what they usually get, you know. Jeez. So, but yeah, I love it. Bipolar weather always. Yeah, it's with supposed me. to snow like this weekend. No, yeah. it's actually supposed to be well this weekend, but the whole week is supposed to be like it's 60, seventy. Right. Yeah, in the seven. So anybody want to go out to the pool and day drink? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 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 no one's gonna get in the pool, but we'll just be around. Yeah, because the, pool. the pool's probably full of leaves and yeah, whatever. Looks Dead like cats. A, looks like a, <laughs> looks Dead like squirrels. A swamp of sorrow. Oh, Ooh. they're all just. Lynn. And they right. floated to the top. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> you weren't here for the holiday. I'm glad Adriana walked in when she did because we actually have a gift for you. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Yay! I think I heard about this. Yeah. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I heard about it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky giraffe. Thank yeah, you guys. Very much. Merry that's Christmas, man. So sweet of y'all. I feel like a shit. I didn't get you anything. <laughs> nah, man. She did it for everybody. So Thank you I got so much. I appreciate that. Thing. Yeah, Amber actually got to use them last night. Yeah. Made it clink, clink. Yeah, I made it clink, clink, guy to celebrate my dirty 30. Dirty 30. We have two 30-year-olds in the room. Collectively, you are older than everybody. If we put all of our ages together. Actually, it would be like 80 to 60, whatever. <laughs> Just trying to make you feel old. No, I Did was... you creak when you woke up this morning? Did I what? Did you creak? Uh, like... My elbow popped. <laughs> it was like, snap. But I was okay. <laughs> Your arm fell off. That was actually me the last two weeks. Just, well, we got to put it back together. All woody arm like in Toy Story 2. <laughs> How'd no. that go? How'd you little... Uh, uh, I mean, I was there, but they don't know. I've pieces. Well, tell us. Um, I had... So, I decided to have, like, a get-together to kind of pregame at my house for about 
two, three hours, and I discovered I'm the worst party host ever. <laughs> um, for Your the words. Things were ready for the most part, but only because of other friends. Like, shout out to my friend Ashanti, who completely decorated the party area. That was nice. I she, liked it. She did all of that. I. There was a star, oh, was a star in, in his melon. Oh, yeah. There was star confetti on the coffee table and the kitchen table. Every time table. I kept picking up my phone, I was like, what the hell is it? And then I yeah, there's stars all stars over the car, but I got to go like... vacuum when I go home. Um, Shanti decorated. She even helped me clean a little bit. Um, we gathered. You weren't aware of this. We gathered the food as y'all were leaving. I was like, we should probably put this yeah, in Yeah, I was fridge. drunk by then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, anyway. No, and um, I'm coming in and out of the out of my room back to the front to the living room. Like, hi, who's here now? And this and this. But they were in, y'all were introducing yourselves to each mm-hmm. other. I wasn't even out there to do it because I was just still kind of struggling, trying to like get completely ready. And then I had to leave at one point to go drop my son off because, of course, my crazy black mama. I'm not coming <laughs> over there to get him. You better bring him to me when I get off at ten. He doesn't live that far away. When I get over there, normally there at ten fifteen. Uh-huh. Didn't get there to ten thirty. I was so pissed. You were like, come on. Does she normally plan? Like, did you have this planned out? Like, yeah, I told her. Okay. She knows, but she she has a very bad habit of, uh, or very, I guess, good habit of just when I t- t- explain things to her, she'll be late on purpose, I feel like. Oh. So, and yeah. then she did it on purpose because it was her birthday, maybe? That would be that would be bad. I don't know, but she pulled up at 10 30 instead of 10 15. Like, she usually gets home, and my brother was like, I'm not watching him. Don't leave him here. And I was like, oh, my God. Well, it turns out he went out anyway. Yeah. And then my brother ended up <laughs> seeing me at the club. But no, back to the, the house party, I guess. It was cool. It was legit. And then everybody just migrated back to my bedroom to take pictures. And the party just ended up in my bedroom. <laughs> the majority of this group was a bunch of women. So naturally, <laughs> they all went to the bedroom. And I was like, I made a joke. When we were taking your pictures, uh, we took some uh, headshots for Amber. I actually sent you the one that I edited. It looked, turned out really I good. I saw it on a, on the Facebook page, and I, yeah. I was like, I love this. Well, <laughs> that was Dom's work. Oh. That was Dom's well, work. Well, thank you, Dom. With Adriana's handwriting. Thank you. Which is what into, went into all those glasses. And yeah, Dom got one, too, for Christmas. Curtis just got his right now. And then you had the ones that had I clink, it, clink written on it. I made a clink, clink last night, and I got a... Got pretty drunk and then proceeded to go out to Cluso's and a whole bunch of people saw me that I did not see because apparently my eyes weren't open. You were just. <laughs> <laughs> and then my little Your brother, little the brother was at the club and texted me. My phone died right before I got in the club and. Y'all were just going crazy with them pictures. I got that text message from my brother like, are you in the club? And I was like, are you in the club? Because he doesn't normally go out. It was weird. Walked past my boo. Didn't even know. He messaged me like, you walked past me like you <laughs> didn't know me. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't see you. <laughs> and then I went home and ate ate a little bit, made myself a plate, and that felt. Man, sweet. <laughs> I woke up this morning. We had poppers here. Enrique, <laughs> Enrique, she already heard this. Sorry, Enrique made poppers here yesterday. Mm-hmm. Fantastic! I ate like at least six of them, and I was just because they were delicious. Mm-hmm. Got to your place, ate like six of them there too. <laughs> drank some beer. Didn't have anything to settle my stomach. Woke up this morning going into work, and I was just like, "Oh, you uh, went to work? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I had to. Get, I went straight from your party. We came back to the house. We were up for a little bit, and then I was like, "Oh, I guess I should go to sleep." And then I went to work. Mm-hmm. Woke up though, and I felt like a pipe bomb in my stomach, and I was just, uh, everything was fiery coming out of this end and this end. Oh like, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, that's some fire air coming out of this. <laughs> Better take care of this. Adriana, did he disturb your sleep? <clears throat> <laughs> I did when I, I when I get up to leave, I disturb her sleep, and that's about I it. I was talking about with the toots. No, <laughs> it was just rip. <laughs> there, we you happy? We hit your fart quota today, Amber. <laughs> 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 Last time, what was it like? Forty seven. It was forty seven minutes, and then Amber was like, and then Amber was like, I gotta make a fart reference. There's gotta be Dookie somewhere. Uh, ugh. <laughs> no, Dookie. <laughs> Every podcast poops. You said this was your. <laughs> <laughs> you said this was your first like adult get together. That yeah, you had. I mean, I, I mean, I've had people over for my birthday last year, but it was just mainly to come over, literally to pregame, check our makeup, and then we left mm-hmm. my house. We still all ended up back in my bedroom again, but <laughs> like it's, I've never had. I guess maybe nothing on that level of like there having, were uh, having decorations. There were and appetizers, and, and yeah, we had the drinks there set was, out. There was charcuterie trays. <laughs> <laughs> with uh meats and yeah i didn't get a vegetable so i was like i'll just do fruit mm, do vegetables. fruit was good 
They had chips and salsa, though. Yeah, and some guac. My brown <laughs> was like, ooh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's right up my yeah, alley. But I guess this is my first time actually having, you know, like it planned out, like I'm going to feed y'all and uh-huh. have, you know, drinks and this and this set out. But no, I guess now I have like an idea of like what not to do and handle things a little bit better. So I wouldn't actually mind having another get together maybe on later this year or something. So Super Bowl, maybe. Ooh, well, I like Super Bowl at your house. That was fun last yeah, year. Yeah, last year was pretty good. <laughs> Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, go. Go, go. I don't know what we're going to do this year. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember when. It's, I know it's the first February, first Sunday of February. It's only one February. It's the first February of the year, not the second one. Okay. See, that's the I secret you. February. You don't know about it, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> it's the lost month. I wouldn't know about it. Are the Cowboys going to the Super Bowl? I'm going to say uh, we'll see. All right. I'm a cowboy fan, but I'm not going to be like, we're going all the way. My friend, every year the season starts, he's just like, we're going all the way this year. Like, dude, you say that every year. <laughs> not last year. Last year was a fluke, but this year we're going all the way this year. He might be right. Get in the rain. He's going to go nuts. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. <laughs> no, all in all, thankful to be 30. Uh, the club was definitely weird, and I think I'm just, I've hit that age. I've, I've probably, even before. I turned 30, I think it's probably been a couple years since I've hit that age to where the club was just weird. And I just felt like we all could have just stayed at my house. <laughs> when was the last time you went to the club? <laughs> <laughs> my chocolate's like, I don't do that. <laughs> like, I don't the last know. The time the club was at me, I don't know. <laughs> that didn't even make sense. I was trying to come I'm up. I'm glad you didn't say in back. you. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been, been weirder. <laughs> take the, me out of the club, but you can't take the club out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I, it's it's been years. I don't know. Like. I don't really go because you going out now would be just like to bars. That's different than being yeah. At but a club. I don't really go out to bars hardly anymore these days. I just sit and ponder life. I just yeah. No, I I I just prefer to stay in. If there's nothing going on, if there's no reason for me to be out, I won't be out. I'll now, find a... now it's like it used to be just yeah. We're gonna go out because we want to go out. Now it's I need a reason to yeah. get out yeah. there. Yeah. I think Absolutely. I think back when everybody was here, Kevin and Carlos, a couple of my other friends, mm-hmm. I would we would all go out to the bars just to get hammered and, mm-hmm. and socialize. But I would say it's probably been about a year, and that was like when I had a good friend of mine come in town. But that that was just like a bar; it wasn't even a club. Oh, geez, yeah. Nah, man, I'm talking like raging at Kongs. Oh, well, okay, actually, okay, take that back. Bars, it's been a couple months. I saw my brother play, uh-huh. so. No, take that back. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. My mind is like mashed potatoes right now. Um, New Year's, New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah. My brother was playing a show. I had a couple friends come out, um, and then saw some more friends that were out there. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but club wise, it's it's been years. When was the last time we went to a club, Adrian? A club? Yeah, we went to Kong's like the beginning of last year, maybe like. Kong's a club. It's a club. It's a, well, it's a dance floor at DJ. Yeah, it's a club. Uh, Blue Light, if you really want to get to know somebody there, go there. It's cramped. And right, just, oh, hey. A band, just like, oh, hey. Like, that's, Hello. that's <laughs> Rudy and that's your Johnson. All right. <laughs> Excuse me while I tower over you and totally make you uncomfortable. And then they're like, get out of the way. Like, I'm not trying to be in the way. Being <laughs> tall. Why don't you grow a little bit? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Kurt is bringing the, the salt I'm a little salty today <laughs> Warning high sodium content Oh my lord No okay so this whole week I've actually been having like the most vivid dreams I sent y'all the, the one that I had I just I sat down I was on my break and I was like I gotta write this out And see what I can remember out of all of this And apparently one, all my superhero dreams are good Except for the one where I was Arrow And it was like really dark and I was like Okay, everyone's dying. Cool. You have superhero dreams? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Do tell. Everybody has superhero dreams. I know. I think. I have them too. My brother cool. was telling me, <laughs> my brother was telling me, well, here's the one that's not cool. My brother was telling me about the one where he's like, I always, it's it's the dreams where he has an ability and then he can't use it when someone finds out about it. It's like, oh, you can fly? That's awesome. He's like, yeah, watch this. And he's just like hovering like a foot off the ground. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, I knew it. You're lame. I was like, no, I can fly for real. I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. You're you're crazy because you can hover one foot above the ground instead of yeah, you're crazy because you can fly. They believe him. No, they don't. It's like <laughs> whatever, dude. No, this dream I had. Uh, 
like it was it took place in like this mexican town like a like a metropolis kind of like a futuristic kind of thing mm-hmm. that was his character City. yeah that was his character that had like these uh it's like a heritage kind of power so it was it was passed on from generation to generation kind of like zorro but not zorro but it was where uh like he had these like ghost abilities kind of like danny phantom i was thinking about it too and i was like this kind of reminds me of danny <laughs> phantom <laughs> <laughs> but it was like telekinetic abilities and he can turn himself invisible and he has like x-ray vision and all that i don't know and it was just weird because it was just this whole scenario built i don't even know what i was thinking about or reading up on before i went to sleep that night it just happened just this dream manifested itself out of nowhere and i was like oh okay cool that works but no and then okay you're gonna like this one too i had another dream where i got mauled by a bear <laughs> yeah like yeah, Leonardo, yeah. <laughs> like Leonardo DiCaprio, The Revenant. Or? Well, yeah, it was. We were in this post-apocalyptic time, and I want to say this is like Thursday night going into Friday, and uh, we were in this city. We were in this city, and uh, we were going down. We met up with some guy that was on a canoe, and he was like, "Yeah, I need to get you to this part of town, but you gotta come with me, and you gotta come right now." And then we had to like trade him some meat or whatever. On this thing, we were in the city. It was like I want to say it was Austin or something, somewhere close to a river. It flooded the, this main road, and we were just going down this this road. It was a street. We were So we were floating down the street. And I see this thing over there, and I'm like, hey, we can go get this and get supplies, whatever. For some reason, I got out of the thing. They were telling me not to get out of the canoe or the kayak, whatever, canoe. It would be a canoe because there's more people in it. Told me not to get out of it. Get out of it. Go into the mall area, and there's this bear just waiting for me. And I was like, uh-oh. They left. <laughs> they were like, no, we told you not to get out, and they just kept going. Then the bear just mauls me, dude. Oh, it my felt, God. Yeah, it what? felt real. So the bear, like, swipes at me and, like, hits me in the stomach. And I'm like, Wah! I go flying in the air. You didn't, like, wake up? Like, no. Like, once that, after that first <laughs> no. swipe? And like, usually you would, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, this thing My happens. My face is ripped me. off. I should probably wake up now. And then you're like, oh, I woke up. No, I was like, I can fight this bear. And, like, I can try to maneuver myself to get up. Nope. As soon as I landed on the ground, both my legs were broken. And then the bear slashes me in the face. Oh, my God. And then slashes me across the back, and then he's just kind of waiting. He's like, I know you're still alive, but I know... I'm going to get you. Yeah, he's like, I'm just going to wait here. So the bear kind of just is waiting the whole time, and I'm trying to crawl away. And then the bear, like, puts his giant paw on me and pins me down. And then I'm there for, like, a while trying to figure out how I'm going to get out of this situation. Oh. And then that was it. Worst dream I had of the whole week. Did you just, like, flip open your dream book? And I was like, what is those? this? What does a bear mean? What is this? Dude? Hang on, just post-apocalyptic future. Okay, <laughs> okay, post okay. canoe. Okay, canoe. <laughs> I actually don't know what that means. Like be- being attacked by an animal. Should look that up. I had a friend that had a dream book. I'd always hit her up anytime I had like some crazy wild. It was like dream. a printed, like a actual yeah, binding. hardcover book. She was like very into like new age stuff. So you can get this stuff at Barnes and Noble. Um, but yeah, she was like flip it open and she's like, okay, this tells you what it means. Like right here. No, I've had some crazy dreams before. I think I may have mentioned this before. I've had dreams where I was like the Incredible Hulk. I saw, my, I felt myself transforming. <laughs> I fought the abomination like in a lightning storm. It was so cool. And then I had a dream where I was Spider Man. I was swinging through at the city, and that was Dude, like those are the best. Dreams. It felt like I was in a roller coaster. My stomach was just like turning and flipping. And it's weird down. how your mind does that to yeah. you. Yeah, and I woke up in my bed and cried because it was. Real life. <laughs> you were just like, man, I wish that was the thing that was real. Right. Would you want to be Spider-Man, though? Yes. Think about it. Yes. <laughs> think about yes. it. As, think know. about it as you. Like he, Peter knows how to make his web cartridges and his web shooters and everything. Right. So you don't. No, I. I could make my own web car- cartridges. <laughs> you saying? Well, he's, he's like, you want me to show you? <laughs> All right. All right, I can do it. Okay, I got him in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me right, just let me go. go swing around flat Lubbock. Oh, that would like you would swing from light poles, I guess. Two story, two story. All right. Just all, all right, right, cool. Let's go swing around downtown just for all but <laughs> twenty seconds. Okay, from the Wells Fargo building to NTS Tower. That would still be kind of <laughs> cool though. And then just a free fall for a little bit, just wah, mm-hmm. like six or seven stories. I dig it. Yeah, hands down, Spider Man all the way. Okay. I pulled up the dream uh, dream reference. The meaning, <laughs> the meaning of being attacked in a dream. To dream of attack, attacking or being attacked often relates to issues of control in our life. Oh, God. Oh, you're broken. I'm broken. <laughs> my mental... <laughs> my mental's... <laughs> it's over. That's it. I think he's coming across some stuff he doesn't want us to know. 
But I'm in control. Like, are you? Am I? <laughs> Apparently not. Well, I guess according to my mental, I'm uh, not in control of anything. Not my well. <laughs> yeah, you weren't here for that, Curtis. I messed up my arm, and I, mean, I saw you walking around all torn up. Yeah, it was kind of sad. And I then felt. you have that bear dream after that, like after you take your sling off. Yeah, I was like, okay, what's the what's the deal with that? Just won't stop, man. Oh, man. Getting hurt what? physically and mentally. Maybe. Or maybe the physical is relating to the mental. Let's keep reading. Even if you feel you are in complete control. Oh, God. <laughs> even, if, even if you feel you are in complete control of your life, you may still have an attacking dream. Because deep down, you could be waging war to stay in control. What is this? And fear what could happen if you've lost control. Attacking dreams are not usually about wanting to hurt ourselves or others, but can be about our own unresolved internal conflict. They can disturb us with their violence, but attacking dreams show us a way of peaceful resolution. And then it has some questions you should ask yourself. Where am I being defensive in my life? Where may I be hurting myself or someone else in real life? What old patterns or behavior do I need to break? Well, pretty much all of that is settled. Well, Adriana brought it up the other day. She was like, it didn't need to be brought up, but it was brought up anyway. And she was like, that, maybe that had something to do with that. She brought up something that was relating to the past, and I was like, uh, okay. I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna talk about that. I mean, it wasn't anything serious. Not like we got into a serious fight over it. It was just, okay, cool. And then that was it. And that's what happens when you're, you, you have to be comfortable enough with each other to be having those arguments. It wasn't even an argument. It was more of a conversation. You have to be comfortable enough to have that conversation. And I guess it got me thinking about other things too. Maybe, maybe this, uh, this dream thing is right. It got me thinking about other things, though, and I was like, oh, well, I can see how she would feel that way about a certain thing, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not augmenting her feel, her feels. I can't believe I almost said that. <laughs> All the feels, I'm man. such a millennial. <laughs> augmenting her feelings about that uh, certain topic. I wasn't doing anything, I don't think. I can't, <laughs> unless I'm asleep and, like, <clears throat> muttering things. And, ugh. Talking in your sleep. <laughs> that would be, no, I don't talk in my sleep. I mean, I've like muttered, and it's not even intelligible. But other than that, I think I talk in my sleep. Say little, little knickknacks here and there. <clears throat> He's just like, uh, uh, okay. I want to wear pizza to school. Right. I sleep with the TV on, so I probably tend to probably. I couldn't even imagine what your dreams would be like. And I just dream about probably whatever's on TV, and I wake up like, oh, that's why. I was you wake up in Bad Girls Club. No. <laughs> I didn't get no sleep because of y'all. Y'all ain't gonna get no sleep because of me. That's old. Um, no, I had a dream about a bunch of snakes being around and they were biting me, but I wasn't dying. And they were like huge snakes and little snakes. And I looked it up because it was so vivid. Like I could feel it. And it meant um, like if they bite you and they don't die, that you're going to conquer something. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> you were impervious to snake venom. And then um, something else too, like. I might have been lacking, like, a relationship or a tie to a family member. Mm -hmm. Like, it's weird. I don't know. I looked it up for, like, 30 minutes. It's weird that your subconscious ties these things. Maybe that's the alarm, like, the wake-up call kind of thing that you need. It's like, no one's going to tell you, either if somebody's being too nice or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. hey, there's a problem in your life, but I'm probably not going to tell you about it. And then you have this vivid dream. How do we know they're not scamming us, though? Like, the people that make these books. Mm, I mean, I'm... If I mean, I looked at like three or four different ones. Some of them had different explanations. Some of them were kind of the same. You were cross-referencing? Yeah. <laughs> just being a, hmm, just I need to, Let me make I need sure. to Sherlock this. Because maybe it just might mean that maybe somebody else is going to creep up and bite me. None of it ever said that. Though. Ooh, it was like, I you're going to. That's a good interpretation. It was like, you're going you're gonna to conquer this and you're going to, you, you overcame this and blah, blah, this and that and the other. And I was just like, or maybe it just means somebody's going to do some sneaky shit to me. Yeah, that could yeah, watch out for those snakes in the grass. Sneaky snake. And on the plane. And on a plane, yes. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> but if he can do it, you can do it too. Sam Jackson's God, he's getting up there. What was I the last thing? I had was? a dream that he died like years ago, but he <gasps> never died. Take that back. I can't. I had the dream. I'm not lying. Twenty seventeen is gonna be problem free this year. Okay. Celebrity death free. Oh, we didn't get to talk to you about this. Did you have any resolutions coming into this year? Do you believe in that? I didn't really think about it. To be honest, I don't know. Or just something that you want to do, like a personal I, goal. We we would change it from resolutions to personal goals. Like, eh, everyone's doing resolutions. We're doing something else. My resolution is to go to the gym in March and not January. <laughs> so why? I think I'm why? Sick. I don't know. 
No, just, just when everybody's out of the gym. Yeah, when, every, when everybody like leaves. Like I don't want to be part of that group that's like that comes rushing mm-hmm. in. Like New Year, new me. I'm gonna get so fit. And then and then it's just, and like know. two days later, I'm couch potato again. I started out the year doing well, and then I ate uh, half of Enrique's chips ahoy. Oh, that was bad. And then I ate a bunch of junk after that. Oh yeah, it hurts too. No, man, I was just. Like every day, I was awake for like <laughs> last week. I was just like, I need Miwa maybe that cookie. <laughs> cookie. <laughs> <laughs> every day, it was like, I need something sweet and just whoop. Except Friday, we were shorthanded Friday at work, and I had something come up, and I was just, I was just mad. I was mad. I was hungry when I got home, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay away from all those sweets. Pushed them aside. Had a sandwich. No, st- mm. no stress eating. That's what I was trying to avoid, and I was like, man, th- I think this is how stress eating works. But I was mostly hungry because I didn't get to eat all day because I didn't have a break. But I was like, I'm staying away from that. Just, yeah. People were complaining too about how we had the vending machine over there. And it was like, there's nothing good in here. And then they just end up getting something anyway. It's like, give me this Kit Kat. And just, I mean, you get those donuts and those honey buns. Dude, and it's a people, vending machine. people kept bringing food last week and it was just killing me. They were like, hey, have these donuts from Duncan or have this uh, donut from <laughs> some mm-hmm. other donut. Did it plate. go straight to your thighs? <clears throat> Went straight to the buns. <laughs> and then when I sat down, I went, <laughs> it squished into the thighs. <laughs> Thunder thighs. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I don't I don't really have any resolutions, I guess. I mean, I would like to get back into working out, but I'm not. It's not like on top of your. It's not, I mean, I'm not saying. Wait, like, what's at I, the top of your list? Well, I don't really have a list. I just. I just. I you just. got to have something. I do things. I just go with the flow, you know, like. That's your resolution, or that's your uh, that's your goal is to keep things uh, keep that keep, keep that stream just keep it fluid, nice and calm, keep it fluid and flowing. But I mean, it's not saying I don't have goals and ambitions. It's just like oh, yeah, twenty. Yeah. I just didn't really think about it for twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. I was just happy. To, I was just so happy to get out of twenty sixteen. I mean, like I, I have a goal. You know, I had the goal of uh, working out more too. But I think it's easier. My thing was, you didn't get to hear this. My thing was uh, just getting the shoulder back to where I can actually try to do something. Like I'm, I need to, mostly for my personal health, my lungs are, are bad and I just need to get back into doing cardio and stuff. Good and smoking. I want I want to get back into, into football form too, playing soccer and stuff. Mostly, I can't play the rest of the season, obviously. My, I have a higher chance of re-injuring it since it's just like barely out of the sling now. But yeah, just strengthening it up mentally, physically. Keeping, um, I noticed this too, uh, this whole past week, like everything was hitting the fan and it was like one thing after another and I was shorthanded and everything. And I was just taking it in stride though, as, as well as I could. It, was, it wasn't like complaining, like raw guys, like, yeah, complain about this with me. Cause they feel the same way about it too. Sometimes I can tell, but it was mostly just, okay, this thing's happening and let's just, I was trying to be more constructive, be, be a little bit more positive about it. And I noticed it today. I didn't get to stay as long as I wanted to at the party. It's like, yeah, I mean, I want to be here and it's a celebration and mm-hmm. I wanted to drink. I had one drink last night. What? And that's be- well, that's because we went to Adriana's parents' house and we had like brisket, brisket burritos. Oh, man. It's do they still have some? If they do, we need to go back. Um, yes. If not, my sister. Oh, yeah. You said your sister was good. Man, it's just brisket all over the place. Mm. Just meat all over. Meat, meat. And we... <laughs> <laughs> And the thing I thought about too was like, man, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. It's Sunday. I mean, Sunday's your day. Sunday's your, the, the day that you're just, I need to collect myself and get ready for the week. Like mm-hmm. either in your case, Amber, it's like the weekend's winding down. Like I need to recover yeah. or probably in your case too. Like I just need to heal. Like I need to, I need so to start feeling. Up. Yeah. I need to start feeling better because I know this week is the cha- The challenge is the week. Like, all right, I gotta, I gotta take this head on. I gotta mentally prepare myself. Gotta face the shit storm that's coming. <laughs> Not the snowstorm, that's gone. No. <laughs> the fart. The fart of snow. <laughs> Every day is a battle. A fight for survival. So the thing that was here ended up going to DFW, and then everybody's like freaking out, and it was like millimeters of snow. Everyone's just, oh my god! Right, we're all gonna die! And then it was just like, people from Lubbock that live over there, just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it, it's crazy. Like, when I was up north, everybody is calm and collected, has their together it's and it's like that meme i'm sure all of us have seen it's like driving up north it's like everybody's all like yeah calm it's like rush hour it's like calm everything and down here it's just panic and chaos in the and streets. you would think because we can't I mean, drive for shit. no west texas is that place that They're it, like, it's a slower pace here like why are people even doing i that? i got an alert while i was at work on yeah friday mm-hmm. it was like 10 cars like in an accident why why first of all 
Why are you out? If you don't have to be out in it, why do you go out in it? And also, if it is a little icy, why would you think it would still be okay to do like 65? Like, it's like, no, if I drive fast, it'll cancel out the force of ice. No. no. That's why the Flash gets beat by Captain Cold. Come on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was my dork moment. That was kind of a Krusty the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't understand hey, hey. that. I think Lubbock drivers, we just feel like we're impervious and we're in- invincible. Because stuff like that doesn't happen that often. No. They're like, oh, I mean, it's only here for a little bit. I can drive as fast as I want to. No, no. no. Well, Even in the rain, like sometimes you just have to slow down. But yeah, people don't grasp that here. I mean, it's like whenever uh, that deluge rainstorm that we had like a couple of years ago, looked yeah. like the day after tomorrow on yeah. Marshall Sharp Freeway. Oh, people yeah. were just driving into that and then like, what what's, they, what's what, happening? Oh, I'm stuck. I have to be. I'm trapped on the roof of my of car. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Someone help me. And how do you you see that as you're approaching that? Like, if I see that, I'm gonna stop. Turn around, don't drown. Everybody. Yeah, exactly. Those signs, road may flood, are there for a reason. Like, <laughs> why would you even? I can make it. No. I can make it. Someone's in a coop. I can make it. It'll float. I have, yeah, I, have it, the, I have boat mode on my car. <laughs> okay. It was yeah. And it was a bunch of little. <laughs> Sorry, com- it was a little, it was a bunch of little compact cars. Like, well, that didn't make any sense. Uh, oh, I think every Lubbock driver needs to have a snorkel on their car now. Okay, we all think that okay. we're gonna. We're all thinking collectively about this. Like we all, we're in, we're in agreement about not not doing dumb shit. Pretty much. Do you think that's coming with age? Like going out to the club too. It's like mm, I kind of like analyzing the risk more a yeah. little bit. Yeah, I think it's just coming with experience. Yeah, I mean, if you've you... gotten stuck before. No, oh, I just use my head. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm a pretty scary person when it comes to driving like i i drive you know I, I got a little lead foot but like if i don't know where i'm going like uh you know if i think if you're in a place where there's swamps or the water could just you know pop out at any given it's moment like, boom. Yeah. yeah like if i don't know where i'm going i might i'm gonna slow down for sure and if it seems like i'm hitting like marsh or coming up on water like, like mm-hmm. i'm gonna turn around like this is it, i don't know I just wouldn't do that. If I see another car like slipping and sliding, I'm 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 gonna slow down and I'm gonna try to avoid that area. You had your Mustang in in Louisiana, right? Yeah. Oof. How, um, how did it survive? Uh, the infrastructure is terrible, so it really was just the roads. Period that shook my little car apart. It was just, it was just in the shop. Like every every four months, there was something wrong. Um, I mean, when it rained, but they it's were like, really yeah, they yeah. were really good. They would block like the interstate and stuff because people were just stupid enough just like people here get on the interstate in the loop when it's super icy mm-hmm. like they, sh- they shouldn't have to go out and physically block off like a roadway to get you onto the loop like that's stupid you could flip off you know we've had cars yeah like seen, literally flip it. off the loop like that's crazy you could die even on a windy day stuff like that happens it's like oh the, it's just it pushed my vehicle and then ah, tipped over yeah like if you don't have to be out don't don't go out like i feel like more people get on the road when it gets bad and this ties back into just staying home <laughs> as yeah. as we get older it's just like why do i need to go out there like i'm warm in the house there's hot chocolate in the cabinet oh yeah absolutely and especially when it comes to like going out if it was like terrible last night i don't know i would have stayed in the house like i don't i don't have to do that it was just something to do were there a lot of people out no it really wasn't that many i mean it, it was a when decent did, when did crowd the, when did the students packed. come back uh, uh week next, after next i want to say next oh, they, well they should be here next weekend or whatever yeah they'll start coming back in and getting ready but i think we start the 15th i don't ever yeah, remember my break being that i always long. forget the f- no the 16th because the 13th is friday yeah the 16th well we haven't been in class in a long time i, j- I just really don't remember my break being that long like because the kids just went back to elementary school to- right this week tuesday it used to be shorter because i finished at south plains and then i transferred to tech Mm -hmm. i think i started school like the day of my birthday or the day after my birthday so it was like that first week of january and i was mad (laughs) (laughs) and i think i slipped and hit a guardrail like going to orientation too because it was icy that day (laughs) it didn't do too much to my car it didn't do anything really man i hated making those drives to spc the girl i was with at the time she drove a jeep slid off the road like oh. maybe five minutes before you get into level land and there was that fence that was out there and just slid lost went out of control spun instead of flipping thankfully Thank God. and whoosh, the back passenger door handle was dented in because it hit the fence post and that was it oh it was the only thing that was bad didn't tell me about it until after we left and i was like how did you get home car stuck out there her sister came and picked her up 
It's dangerous though. What? It shouldn't be that dangerous. And that's going back to risking, evaluating risk. It's like, do I need to do this? And it's pretty, now it's easier to talk ourselves out of it than it is to talk ourselves into it. It's right. like, no, nah, I don't need to do this. I think just when you're young, like you have, I know for de- definitely for me, like I had that sense of believing that I had to be somewhere. Like I, ha- I got to be there. I got to be there having this. I and now be you're there. like, why do I need to be? And then every, and then now I'm just like, oh, I'm coming. And then laying in my bed, like I'm, I'm not coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on, the, <laughs> I'm down the street, and you're I'm still in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like getting ready for bed. I'm under like ten covers. Just all you can see is my eyes peeking out. <laughs> <laughs> just. Mm. <laughs> I saw. Um, this was us staying in. Like we watched uh, the Nice Guys the other night. Yeah, that movie's great. Really good movie. Underrated. Uh, oh, highly underrated. Wait a minute. Who's in Nice Guys? Ryan Gosling, Russell Crowe. It's like yeah. set in the 70s. Came out back in May in theaters. Oh. Yeah, it was, yeah. It's, they're, uh, one's a detective and one's a, like a hired muscle kind of guy. I need to they both cross that. paths and then they eventually like team up together and they, they try to solve this case. That the, It's two different cases at first and then it actually intersects with each other. Nice. It's hilarious. Check it out. You should watch it. Hello. It's a great movie. Speaking of movies. I want to go see Sleepless with Jamie Foxx because that's like Black Taken. <laughs> that's still that, that would never not be funny. He's talking talking crap. On it the takes phone. place in Vegas, right? I want to say yeah. He's like a Vegas detective yeah. or like an undercover unit or and something. And then they, I guess somebody kidnaps his pretty old son. He looked like yeah. He was, he was like, like, Dad, where are we going? Yeah, he looks like he was like a college dude. Almost. <laughs> like, why aren't you ever home, Dad? He's like, Son, there are things you don't understand. And then he gets <laughs> he gets kidnapped. That was a really good Jamie Foxx impression. Right there. He said so, there's a, there's literally a line I think in the preview. He was like, "I'm a I'm a whip all of y'all silly looking asses or something like that." And I was like, "Come on!" <laughs> like was it? Wow. He's what he said? Yeah, he said that. There, it's in the preview. The he, only thing I remember from the like he does this maneuver where he like parries this guy's attack and then he, like throat chops him and then he like has the shotgun and he's on the car and then like I just remember the action parts of it and like the part where. Gabrielle Union, also in the movie. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. No, I just, all, every time they play it, it's always him on the phone. Like, if anything happens to my son, I'm going to kill all of y'all. And then he said something, I'm going to whoop all of y'all funny looking asses. And then <laughs> his son getting dragged away and he looks like a big old 20 year old. <laughs> He's, instead of it like, dad, it's a dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> Action movies don't really need a plot. Like, that's too intricate though. Like, Taken, that's all you needed. Yeah. They took his daughter. He's going to go get him back. Taken 2, took his daughter. That's all you needed to know. Taken three. Wife died. Oh, wait. She got taken in two, right? No, his she got wife. taken in one. Then uh, he got taken in two. Like him and oh, his him wife. Oh, him and his wife. So his daughter had to like go find them. And then. That was pretty clever And then though. she got taken yeah. again in three, right? No. No, three was just. They framed him. Yeah. No one got taken. His wife died and they framed him for it. Yeah. It was the cop, Forrest Whitaker was like the chief, the captain of police. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, but that is the one where he told her to go in there and pick the specific little yo play thing and drink it, right? To make her sick so she could go to the bathroom so he could talk to her. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm, that's, uh, it was three. It was three people. It was, it was taken three. It was taken, <laughs> it was taken four. I saw that at Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> Great place to watch movies, by the way. Love that place. Yep. John Wick. Oh, John Wick 2 is coming out this year. God, I'm, I'm gonna super watch that. excited about that movie. Yeah, it's coming out in February, February yeah. 10th. It can't yeah. be here soon enough. I don't know. I'm excited for it. I've loved the first one. And that, like, that had just like a basic plot line. Just fill it up with action. And it, like, I mean, it wasn't too thin, though. No, no, no. But it's like, there's action movies that get it right, and there's action movies that don't get it right. That just F it up. Yeah, and for and like John Wick just had like the perfect balance. Like you had a hero that you could root for. His reasons were valid for what he mm-hmm. was whipping ass. Like it wasn't like some like you took my daughter. It was like his wife had already died, and then he's already a broken left man. him a, a sentiment. And then his dog, his puppy gets taken. And he like, learned killed. to love that dog because at first he yeah. didn't even he didn't even like it. Yeah. So then he just like wakes up the beat. That's probably what I would be like if someone were like were to kill my dog. Not really. But I would just, I, could, I would feel that anger. If you were in that universe, yeah. If I ran, if I knew like, gunk, kung fu, and pretty much. What's your favorite action movie, like all time? Don't say Taken. I don't know. Don't say taken. I have. There's several. Um, Last Action Hero. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I grew up. I head. grew up on that movie. Die yeah, hard. I grew up. Oh, on of course, Die, die hard. Hard's good. Up until like. Not live, the last. Live free or die hard. Yeah. Like, no, it was uh, a good day to die hard. It was. When he goes oh. to Russia, that's one sucked. Live Fear Die Hard was pretty good. I liked it. Bad Habits. 
Die Hard. Um, <laughs> I actually, okay, we want to talk about like underrated movies and action movies. And one today, actually, I popped in Dread on my Blu-ray. Oh, I have that. Yeah, I have and it on Blu-ray too. I I love that movie. Carl Urban is Dread. Yeah, yeah it's man. so underrated, but it's such a good movie, and it's like it's it's got the right mix of the action story. And, yeah, the story had a good story. Um, mostly because in that universe of Dread, uh, this obviously, if you don't know this, it's a graphic novel made by a couple of Brits. Um, but it takes place in America. Dread's American. But in that universe, you can have so many stories like that. It's like he got stuck in this one building that had all these floors and peach trees. Like I guess peach trees, to Georgia. Mega City One. Yeah, dude. It's anybody if you're li- listening to this and you haven't seen Dread, do yourself a favor, check it out. It's pretty cool. It's an hour and a half. It's amazing action, futuristic action. Way better than it's Judge yeah. Dread that came out. Yeah, this is not the Sylvester <laughs> Stallone Dread that came out in '95. This is Dread that came out in 2012. And it hasn't gotten a sequel yet, and it needs a sequel. It'll be hard to do that. The cinematography in that movie is just flawless. It was yeah. Like, oh, for sure. Um, I just said Die Hard was, yeah, I guess Die Hard's like my favorite. Well, you know what? I did like Lethal Weapon. I used to like yeah. that a lot. Who, who did you like, though? You like young Mel Gibson? Uh, when well, he kind of yeah. had his Australian accent a little bit. When yeah. He's speaking American. Got a little long hair, a little bit long hair. Danny Glover hopping in the tub uh, <laughs> with his wife. <laughs> or pulling his wife in the tub. Riggs. Riggs. <laughs> Dom does a really good Danny Glover in Lethal Weapon. <laughs> oh my god! Too old for this. Yeah, just I um I like all that fighting. At first, I didn't like as a kid. You know, I get caught up in it because of my dad. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, I like watching fru fru stuff. But now I enjoy action movies. Like because you understand them. As more. I got yeah, as I got to my twenties. Speaking of fighting, one of the lamest, saddest fights that is probably going to ever happen is. Chris Brown and Soldier Boy. Oh, and I guess Fifty Fifty Cent's like promoting it, kind of. He's what? Here, he's here for it. Like he's. Well, he's like this needs to happen. He's pushing it. <laughs> what's this? What's this for? I've I don't seen it pop up know. on newsfeed every like, now and then. I think like something about Soldier Boy talking to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Enrique god! Just pulled up a meme. <laughs> oh wow! Um, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah. Chris Brown's baby mama was maybe canoodling with Soldier Boy, and Soldier Boy decided to like make it known that he was canoodling with Chris Brown's baby mama. Didn't even thought, didn't even think Chris Brown cared about his baby mama. He just cares about his daughter, and it turned into that. And now they're arguing, and Soldier Boy said something about his daughter, and nah. then it got really serious. And now they're talking about fighting, and the people are really entertaining the idea of it being on pay per view. And I'm just like, I really don't. Here's how much I would pay for that. Zero. Well, I was gonna say ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's ten dollars too much. Just ten dollars. Twelve ninety nine. Oh man. I mean, I honestly think Chris Brown would probably beat up Soldier Boy. I think Soldier Boy. Well, I think both of them are on drugs, to be honest. But I just think Chris Brown would probably win. Yeah, they. I. Oh, I haven't yeah. following it that much, but I, I watched like the side by side comparison videos, uh-huh. like Chris Brown <laughs> fighting, like he's training, and his fights or his fists, you know, his jabs were like uh-huh. they could land. Like mm-hmm. he looks like he's, he had stiff jabs at that. Yeah, he looks like well, he looks like he's more. He's got his shit together more than Soldier Boy. Yeah. I looked at his video and he's just like swinging around. He's <laughs> just limbs. Like, just yeah. Limbs. <laughs> I just, I just think this is just a really, this is just so it's sad weird. that like, like it's weird. America gets caught up in bullshit like this. Like it's just all a joke to like get more publicity for Soldier Boy and Chris Brown. And I just, it has to resort. I mean, what else can you do? Like oh, we, we mentioned this before. Like being famous has to be hard. Yeah, like, absolutely. How do you maintain relevance for that long? How long has Chris Brown, Chris Brown been? Soldier uh, Boy is like off the map. I yeah, Chris, yeah, Chris Brown's been. I I remember. Uh, let's see. I heard that. Uh, Run it. It was in 05. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, Chris Brown's been around for over a decade. I was in junior high when that happened. He always seems to stay relevant, one way or another. Chris Brown like, is relevant. It's just Soldier Boy. Bullshit going on. Like he's got the cops outside his house. And he's, yeah. <laughs> whatever happened to that? Was, oh yeah, that what did happen was, to that? They just I, came. He did. He did a few Facebook lives, and then they went away. I think some girl accused him of like hitting her, yeah. and then the charges were dropped. I think. Yeah, because she was lying. God, I don't know. I just when I want to be famous, like I just want the money. I don't want the fame. But I don't think you can yeah. have it that way. <laughs> no, I mean it's one. It, it can't be one or the other. Because if you're fam- if you're rich now, you're rich. You're famous because you're rich. Kind of like uh, Zuckerberg. Yeah. Like I don't need to. I don't need any of that. Like my thing, <laughs> my thing is social media. I don't need to be the face for it, even though he is the face of it. I mean, I don't think that movie helped either. Great movie, but I still haven't yeah. seen it, dude. 
Yeah, I haven't either. Same here. That was Andrew Garfield's like first big. I will let y'all movie. borrow it, and y'all can actually. I turned it into Hastings. I don't have a Blu-ray copy <laughs> of it. <laughs> I got rid of my DVDs before Hastings closed. So. R.I.P. Hastings. <sighs> Amber, you got stuff to talk about. What's the word? It was trending. Uh, got Sierra. Her baby bump's getting bigger. Shout out to her and Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson also won his playoff game yesterday on Saturday. I think Russell Wilson listens to Future secretly without. Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to decipher stuff. Like he's just trying to read between the lines and pick things out. <laughs> um. Oh, um, speaking of football, I'll mention this real quick. Dom, congratulations for getting second place. First year he was in our fantasy league, in our uh, in our office league. Mm-hmm. Got second place. Got his money back. Woo-woo! Congratulations, man. Who he, got first place? Blake did. Blake. Blake. Oh, yeah, we saw Keanu the other night, too. Uh, that's been coming on, and I still you haven't have taken to the time it. to watch it. You have to watch Everybody it. Everybody says it's good. Method Ugh, man. I love, I love Keanu Pill. Yeah, yeah, let's keep it moving. Um, uh, I got a little David Bowie. Um, David Blaine, why are you trending? I he, just... uh, he shot himself in the throat, I think. <gasps> by accident doing a trick. Oh, I, did, I, did, I didn't follow. I just saw the headline, and I was like, "Well, it's only a matter of time." His voice is. <laughs> well, he's, he's still alive, I guess. But I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Come here. Would you like to see something that'll just blow your mind? Come here. Just right. come here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it didn't blow his mind. It blew his throat out. <laughs> I don't know how bad it is. I think he's okay because I haven't seen any R.I.P. David Blaine dead up. Dear Lord. I hope not. That's a terrible thing to happen. But that is, you know, natural selection. So. Yeah. Not that we're wishing that upon him. Uh, we got a little Stephen Hawking trending. I don't. Oh, it's his 75th birthday. Happy birthday, Stephen Hawking. Thank wow, really? You. Today? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wait, no, no, I did the. I did the <laughs> thing. <laughs> We're just gonna yes. we're just gonna skip that. <laughs> Mark Hamill reads Donald Trump quotes in the Joker voice. Oh my goodness! That would be <laughs> that would yeah be hilarious. If yeah, if y'all don't know this, Mark Hamill, aka Luke Skywalker, does the voice of the Joker in the old animated Batman mm-hmm. cartoons as well and as a few of the movies, a few of the movies as well as the new Batman games. Uh, yeah, the Luke Arkansas. Skywalker doing the voice. So I haven't heard these yet, but I, I want to check them out because I've been looking at Trump's tweets. And I can just picture his voice like on top of those, like reading. Them. Oh, it's R. Kelly's 50th birthday. Really? Yeah. 50? 50? 50th. 50th. Yeah. My it's his like, birthday. My mom's the worst R. Kelly fan. Your mom's an R. Kelly fan? But the worst what kind. Like, she's, the she, worst kind? She, like she de- she defends him for everything? Yes. Oh. She burned her arm at one of his concerts. It's like, this is my R. Kelly burn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. So oh, if he drinks my pita. Lord. So stay young. He doesn't look 50. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't. He he looks great. Secret celebrity wedding. Rumors circulate that Adele and Simon Konecki are married. Yeah, I mean, she had his baby. Might as well. I wonder who not. sings at her wedding. <laughs> oh! <laughs> who would you get to sing at your right. wedding? If you're like, yeah, if you're just like bomb-ass singer as it is, who sings at your wedding? Mariah Carey. Oh. Uh, no. no. Oh, she, uh... She fired her, uh... Her manager? Yeah. It wasn't his fault. I know it wasn't. It wasn't. It was had her. no reason to. She just needed to it fire somebody, her. I guess. It was her fault. I can picture that. That's kind of like how uh, football teams or basketball teams, they fire the coach because they need a scapegoat. Yeah. It's like, we need to get rid of somebody. So we're just This is do. your fault, not the team's fault. This is your fault. <laughs> it's not the fault of the players because I guess players are harder to replace than the head. The head coaches are like a dime a dozen, I guess. And apparently managers are too. Oh, also, uh, former Mexican president Vicente Fox. Quesada going off on Twitter about Donald Trump. <laughs> he's been doing that like ever since he's been out of his presidency. He's been doing that. I I enjoyed it thoroughly. Like, We're this not is, paying for the wall. This you is are. my first time catching wind of it uh, a few days ago, so I enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> really, um, really kind of light on things. Um, well, just, we got the Golden Globes tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. we'll just see who wins. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't even take the time to watch it. I just really, honestly, just wait for the winners. No, I, that's like the Super Bowl for me. That's Golden Super Globes Bowl. and the Oscars. The Oscars is in February. February. So yeah. like Golden Globes are like a precursor to mm-hmm. what the Oscars could be like. Gold, so anybody gold, who wins gold, tonight, gold, 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 gold. <laughs> <laughs> the nominations for the Oscars haven't come out yet, but anybody who wins tonight, it's not like a repeat at the Oscars, but, it's pretty but much you like a have a better in. understanding of what, what they're looking at. Yeah, what, they're, what, what the Oscars could be I just be hope like. uh, Rami Malek wins. And, uh, Mr. Robot. Mr. Yeah. Robot, yeah. No, it's... it's uh, I'm definitely excited for that. We got Hacksaw Ridge, Manchester by the Sea, Moonlight, Hell or High Water, and Lion nominated for Best Picture. 
I've only seen two of those movies. I've been trying to like. Anytime I was going to ask season, you like, how many of these have you seen? Well, anytime award season comes around, I try to like binge. I get my ass in the, to the movies as much as I can so I can catch up. That way, mm-hmm. like, so obviously I haven't seen some of these movies, but I still have like a month or a little over a month to. Oh, dumb. Remember that thing we saw about the Navy that Yahoo had tw- had tweeted? Oh yeah! Oh my god! I followed that hashtag. <laughs> like somebody was saying, somebody was saying, uh, "Is there enough gas in the boat?" Like I know my ship. I'm not stopping. <laughs> hashtag, you know what, Navy? <laughs> in word, Navy. I can't believe that was a. Th- and it was happened. like ER Navy too. <laughs> like in word, they ER meant, Navy. They meant bigger, and those keys are very close to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then and um someone was telling me about they were like it wasn't breaking news like they didn't have to get it out there really quickly like this is something that they developed and they still messed it up no black twitter ran with that and i'm not even on i i have a twitter account i'm not even on twitter and i got back on my friends for that <laughs> my friend christian is black and in the navy and she was just <laughs> she was hysterical about it not like oh they shouldn't be doing it. it was like this is funny i mean i just think they're just gonna force some things now that he's about to get inaugurated and uh i just think that i mean i i could it have been a mistake probably but i i think people are just gonna push for the more racist stuff i don't think that'll just be because it just because he's there no what speaking of twitter what's on twitter huh Our twitter. oh that's right yeah we do have a twitter account hey everyone <laughs> you can find us at twitter now we uh Oh, we're also at at Twitter. Yeah, at Twitter. That's what I said. But aren't we called the Sun Fun Yeah, podcast? they didn't give us enough characters, so it's at Sun Fun Podcast. But you'll find the, the names. It's John Amber Curtis. And give then it it's just our I'm our gone handle. for one month, and y'all launch a Twitter page. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it this last week, at Sun Fun Podcast on Twitter. Yeah. We'll be uh, posting the links there to the YouTube pages and everything else. Uh, our <laughs> web pages galore of everything that we that we're at. Also, iTunes is coming up too. I put in the application for that. I, s- I hope y'all saw that I did picture. See that. They uh, have to review our podcast first, and then pretty much we're on iTunes after that. Make sure it's up to nice. snuff. Yeah, pretty much. The, the standards aren't strict, like compared to Spotify, but they're, you know, Apple has a certain way of doing things. So, yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna be there soon enough. Um, going back to Trump. Speaking of the inauguration, uh, they're having a bit of an issue with getting people to perform and. Nobody wants to be come there. Yeah, nobody. It's nobody like the, it's like the party. Associate with it. I'm just kind of like like. It's like the party. That like, oh, you know, like that person's like really popular, but kind of don't like them. Is is that a career ending move to perform at Donald Trump's inauguration? It's more like a stain on your record. Oh, ooh. <laughs> it'd be a bump. A big orange it'd, stain. It'd be a bump, <laughs> but it wouldn't be a, a huge one. Yeah, wouldn't be a huge bump. Yeah. It's just like okay, you did this. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I mean, I watched like Obama's inauguration. I, I mean, I didn't watch the second. I barely watched. The second I just one. didn't. I don't. I don't watch the whole thing. I've never watched the whole thing. Or then I'll That's go like back four and watch hours. Like, highlights from it. That's pre- basically I just watch highlights from it. Like I just <laughs> I'll watch, watch it live version. for a little bit. Like oh, okay, at least I I put my five minutes in. Okay, then done. <laughs> done. I don't need. I'll to wait watch for this. the memes and the highlights. I don't care. That's a lot of time. The Golden Globes tonight is four hours too. Well, it's a roughly, long well, about time. three and a half. Starts at seven. Yeah. It's, 10, it's a long time. By the time this podcast is out. I don't know if I'd want to sit somewhere that long without being fed. They, they, they feed you. I know yeah, they're at the, uh, so at those tables, there's, they give them food. Well, they eat before the actual ceremony starts. Oh, okay. I was about to say, because I don't want to be cutting my steak like in the winter is Amber Edwards. And I'm like, yay. Well, they, got, <laughs> they, got alcohol, they got alcohol and booze there. Yeah. This is one of the more lax um, events to go to with all the Hollywood players there. Golden Globes are known for to be like super fun. Like every award ceremony is fun, but mm-hmm. they're known to be like kind of a little bit this more one's uh, like, outrageous. I yeah, guess. they're wearing a tie, but the tie is a little loose. Right. Ah. Yeah. Like Seth Rogen and uh, James Franco, I think it was either the Golden Globes or the Oscars one year. They came out and they were smoking weed on. Oh, I remember that. I yeah. remember that. This Just, is wait, who's hosting tonight? Fallon. Fallon. I love Jimmy Fallon. He's got a crush on him. I don't like Jimmy at, Fallon. Uh, when he was on Saturday Night Live. Because he was all goofy and like. He just looked good to me. Jimmy Fallon. Yes. I oh, have I'm weird judging. crushes. <laughs> yeah, you do. I do. No, Something I about do. him just does it for me. I mean, I'm sure he's good at doing hosting duties. Just like being an interviewer. Oh, you didn't answer my question. Who would you get to sing at your wedding? Who would I get to sing at my wedding? Adele. No. <laughs> if you could. Okay, I like her like, though. No, money's not an issue. Money's not an issue? Celine Dion. No. Mm, probably let's see rome 
for all you know, I belong to you. I be <laughs> anyway. And uh maybe Earth, Wind and Fire. Oh, that'd be dope. You know they're missing one person. Oof. It's um, just Earth Fire. <laughs> Where's the wind? No. <laughs> we got water to sub in. <laughs> God, that I'm a terrible person. Anyway, um and third if I had a third choice to round it out, I would do soul for real just to turn up. I'd, br- I'd bring back uh, Digital Underground. <gasps> oh. Just just to have everybody dancing, just like oh yeah. Yeah. Don't play the don't play the Humpty dance until it's lit, like until like close to midnight when yes. everybody's already feeling it, but they already loosened up on the dance floor. Like all right, cool, and then Humpty dance comes out and everyone's just grinding. And <laughs> 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 I was gyrating. That's what I was. <laughs> that was uh, some good gyration there. <laughs> The gyrations. I'd get like a lounge singer to do the the, the initial reception. Mm-hmm. Just like I can't, not Buble. No, no. What's his name? Uh, Tom. I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. It's not unusual. Oh, uh, Tom Jones. Tom Jones. Yes. No, so I don't want it to be Carlton? like a Vegas. You said lounge singer. I did. Damn it. Well, like somebody, just somebody with a somebody with like a smooth, like just a really smooth voice. Tom Jones. Oh, yeah, that dude that was with the Gypsy Jane when we saw him at First Friday. I forgot his name. He's really good. He plays at uh, La Diosa every now and then. Oh, that's the guy. I was about to say, it sounds like the guy that was, like, tapping that little thing. And he was like, la, la, la. And me and my ex were sitting there eating. Stick just flies out of his hand and hits a guy sitting at the table. He didn't skip a beat. Just la, la, la. I'm sorry about that. La, la, la. I kept singing. And he, was, and he stopped again like, I'm so sorry. And la, la. I kept singing like nothing was wrong. Oh my God! I love that guy. What is he's his name? good? I don't know his name. Jerry? Jerry? Is his name Jerry? Shout out to Jerry if that's your name. He's I love good. you. He's talented. Like this guy can play. He can sing too. Yeah, he, he, plays, he croons. Like, he played several like instruments too. It was he's crazy. good. I was like, man, I had never been to La Diosa before, and then that's we nice. went, and I was like, oh. Did you eat the sugared rose petal? That's a thing. It, yeah, we we both looked at it like, what? That's... We're not gonna eat this. And then I was like, we went for like, Andy's can I have birthday. Another one. That was the weekend we went. Huh? Like Sugar rose petal. Well, I don't know. It was delicious, and we asked for more. It was on top of tiramisu, and we were like, "Can we have? Oh. A, can we have a bowl of sugared rose petals?" And it was delicious. <clears throat> it was like kind of like cotton candy. We went there for Andy's birthday. Mm-hmm. I don't think he wanted to go there. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a spot that Andy would. Also, doesn't seem like a spot to celebrate a birthday. No, it's not. It's very intimate. It's... There, there were people I saw there just like casually drinking, but I don't think I would go there to cat. I would just rather go to a bar. Yeah, like take me somewhere like where the atmosphere is like a little bit more lively. Yeah. Not La Diosa. No, it's just and you can rack up a pretty, pretty good big tab bill. there. <laughs> yeah, so no one to get drunk and then just start ordering. You drank stuff. four. <laughs> you drank four glasses, but it's as much as a bottle. Like whoa, hold up! I, I still haven't gotten a hold to that sangria that Curtis was telling me about. They didn't have any that night. They didn't have any. No, I guess there was like a specific set menu for Valentine's Day. So. They should have it for Valentine's Day. Like sangria, that's like the drink of love over there. That's what I want. For this Valentine's Day, I will drink sangria and tell Siri <laughs> to remind me. Siri, I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Hey, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> I got an Amazon Echo for Christmas. Oh, damn. Or a dot, whatever you yeah, want to yeah. call it. Yeah. So it's like having like a little another roommate oh this was a thing too this kid was trying to this kid was trying to get uh alexa to sing uh tickle tickle the kid (laughs) the kid was like sing tickle tickle and it like reverted the kid to like some uh hot amateur porn for lesbians oh god (laughs) and it was like uh it was like quantifying a play it was like gathering a playlist of websites to like go through and the dad was filming the kid and then filming the dot like no alexa stop it like (laughs) Like Alexa was about to pee the carpet, like it was uh. a dog. Like, no, Alexa, don't. Bad Alexa. That. Shame. It was like hot amateur, <laughs> pulling up hot amateurs, and then it was just like going off in the list of na- <laughs> a list of names. What's wrong with Alexa? Well, what? it was catching what the kid was saying, and it wasn't actually saying the kid. How does tickle tickle equal lesbian? Well, Le- well it was Le- like, like no. It Alexa like stores all the questions that you ask. So some people have a problem with that too because it's pretty much listening to you all the it time. It has to it has to be on alert on standby for her. either Alexa, Echo, or Amazon. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you have to start out like Alexa, what's the weather like today? You know. Or, uh, so yeah, it's sleeping pretty much, and then yeah. when you when you actually give the voice command, it wakes up. So if I start, but if we're having a conversation and Alexa's in you. the room, 
Will she respond to what we're saying? No. no. Like, it's not going to jump you in have conversation. You're like, girl, don't jump in our conversation. This is grown folks. <laughs> <laughs> but she'll tell you jokes and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dom's got it. Play ticker ticker. Lata, play ticker ticker. <laughs> That's Mommy, cute, right? Yeah. You want to hear a station for porn detected? <gasps> Porno ringtone, okay. hot chick, amateur girl, uh, quality, no, sexy. No, 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 that's not good. What would what would Alexa like if it was to like? There's a way I think you can talk into your iPhone. It's like you say like a certain number. Uh, you say a certain number series, and it uh it brings up the, your deleted messages. You tell your yeah, you tell your iPhone or whatever to bring it. I, that's not a real thing. Yeah, let's not put that out there. Let's keep that hidden. Okay. <laughs> Why are you deleting conversations? Dom's just rubbing his knees like all nervous, just not. I don't, <laughs> no, because yeah, like that's talking. what you, you delete all. You delete all your bad stuff, and then you go try to like question your boyfriend. Like, let me see your phone. Ugh. There's nothing in my phone. I got nothing to hide. I'm like, okay, go ahead. I don't have anything to hide either. All of my pictures, I noticed this, and all the pictures in my, uh, but most of them, shut up. Most of, <laughs> most of them are like superhero wallpapers that I have. Like, I change my wallpaper like every other day. And then, like, pictures of, like, just inside jokes that me and Joe talk about. So, like, have earlier today, I took a picture of my shadow, and I looked like the dude from House of the Dead, like the logo, how he's leaning, and oh, the, yeah. the dead hands, like, <laughs> reaching in. I took a picture of that, and then I sent the, the thing to him. And I was like, oh, okay. No, I got nothing to hide. <laughs> it's weird, though. Like, what would Alexa, like, if Alexa did just pop up a random search? Like, okay, no, get your phone. Look up the last search on your phone, and I want to see. Last search. Yeah, the last search on your phone. Like through Safari or what? No, anything. Like whether it was Google or whatever. A Google. Google. Uh, Google. Well, the one I had pulled up was everything for the Golden Globes. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I have. <laughs> I have. What does an animal attack dream mean? <laughs> I had. But I searched a bunion. <laughs> I thought you were about to say butt something. <laughs> no. Uh, Alexa's like searching up bunion remedies. <laughs> How many Rangers did Tommy play? That's what you have. That's what Dom had. Eight. Dang. Wait, wait, what? How many Rangers did Tommy play? What are you talking about? Tommy the White Ranger slash Green Ranger slash Black Ranger slash Green Ranger slash Red Ranger. The Green Ranger was a villain, though. Then he became the White Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. I like that little sword. And then sports stuff: San Antonio Spurs, Tech Basketball, Arsenal, SoundCloud, RSS on iTunes. That's mostly research stuff. Good thing Alexa's not coming after me. No secrets here. Yeah. Play Our... tickle tickle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed the show today. Sunday Fun Day Podcast. You can catch us on Facebook, SoundCloud, YouTube, Google Play Music, iTunes, and now on Twitter. Yeah. Sun Fun Podcast. Good Have plugs. a good day. Have a great week, everybody. Take care. Bye. You burn no address. You have a black eye you got from a gift.